feel like I don't like my hair like this. It just... <sighs> What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I'm very hyperactive right now and I think it's because I just finished my coffee. I feel like I'm sitting much further back from the camera so I have like all this room for so many more activities. If you guys know what movie I'm referencing when I say that, comment it down below. Anyway, today's video is going to be a collective haul. I actually bought all of this stuff a fair while ago and I kind of put it to the side with the intention of filming a haul but I just completely forgot and it's gotten to the point where it's like okay girl like you need to start using this stuff now otherwise you would have bought it for no reason so I'm about to show you everything that I got it's actually not that big of a haul but I figured since I have this stuff all together I could show you guys today so if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any more videos I post and with that being said let's get into it so the first few things that I have to show you are from House of Lashes you guys know that I am obsessed with my House of Lashes eyelash adhesive oh my god of course I had to pick up a refill because I'm absolutely obsessed this is it right here it's this little pink iridescent holographic kind of tube it's just magic in a bottle honestly i don't even feel the need to bring this in my handbag with me whenever i leave the house i just pop my lashes on and i'm good to go i don't even have to worry about my lashes popping off this stuff holds like its life depends on it literally like it has got some power to it i have actually tried to go back to using my duo lash adhesive as well as like a revlon one that i used to use just because it is a lot more easily accessible for me but they just don't cut it like they just don't do the job for me so this has my heart and i'm pretty sure this is like the third tube of this i've purchased within the last year like less than a year so a definite must have for me next up i have some lashes of course i couldn't make a house of lashes order without picking up some lashes so i have here boudoir which is actually a pair that I've already used previously and I really, really loved them. So I had to pick up another pair for myself. And I also picked up a pair of the knockouts to try. I'm pretty sure these are fairly new. Yeah, I had to pick these up because I saw them and I was like, oh, I haven't seen those before. So that's knockouts. And these ones are a lot more like intense than I thought they were gonna be. I know it doesn't look like it on camera, but for real, when I look at these in person, I'm just like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can wear them because they're just really intense. So yeah, that's everything I got from House of Lashes. Next up, I'm gonna show you what I got from Tarte. I actually made this order ages ago. I can't even remember. I'm pretty sure it was on a particular day when they were having a sale. So I was like, okay, I may as well stock up on a couple of things. So I did get two more of the Shape Tape Concealers. I actually already had purchased a couple shades of the Shape Tape Concealers, but I felt like it was too light for me. I did get light sand as well as like a darker color to kind of bronze contour my face with. However, I don't know, everybody is obsessed with Shape Tape and I personally have not been able to fully get into it because I just, I don't know, like there's something, I'm not like as excited about it as everybody else is. Like I remember during the end of last year, in everybody's yearly favorites was the Shape Tape Concealer and I was just over here like, I don't know, I just couldn't get into it. So I was like, okay, let's try again. Let's try different colors. So I picked up Light Medium and Light Medium Honey. So I have been testing these out and they're okay, but I'm still not obsessed. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I'm not obsessed with them like everybody else is. It's something that I want to love so bad because everybody else loves it. But I just haven't like gotten as into it yet. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But yeah, I need to use these more because I feel like I haven't given them a fair shot. So that's why I picked up a couple more shades just to kind of see if it was just me or if it was the shades but we shall see i also picked up the lights camera lashes four in one mascara i actually have not i did not know this was four in one and i'm about to find out why 
Okay, no I'm not because there's no explanation on the box. So the whole reason as to why I purchased it is because number one, I've never tried any of Tarte's mascaras and I have heard that the Lights Camera Lashes mascara is like one of their best. And I'm pretty sure, this is right here, this is like their limited edition unicorn packaging. You know how they recently came out with all of that unicorn stuff? Well, this is one of the things they also did for that collection as well. <laughs> it's so funny actually because I saw somebody comment on another person's video and was like, damn, when I saw that thing, I thought it was a fancy tampon. And now that I look at it, it totally looks like it. It looks like a holographic fancy tampon. So a lot of the tampon packages that I've seen, this is totally off topic, but I just have to say it. Um, from what I've seen in the US, you guys get them all individually packaged in the box with an applicator and I don't know if this is going to be weird but in Australia we don't really have tampon applicators like I have seen a couple in the grocery store because I remember when I used to when I was younger and I watched people's YouTube videos and they do what's in my bag videos and they'd be like so here's my tampon I'm just like oh my goodness I didn't realize that it was like the tampon and then the tampon applicator within the same sleeve if that makes sense this is just, I don't even know why I'm talking about this right now, but yeah, I've got a flash a little tampon looking mascara. <laughs> anyway, back to the topic at hand, this beauty of a mascara right here. Honestly, what pulled me into actually trying this out was the packaging. I'm very much a packaging whore. Like I see something that is vis visually pleasing to me and I want it like with no reason behind it. I'm just like, that looks pretty, I need it, which is a very bad habit of mine, but this can be an exception because apparently this is a beautiful mascara. So it just comes with a typical mascara wand. Nothing special about that, but I will have to try it out and see whether it's worth it. Woo! I don't know how we got into the topic of tampons in that part, but moving on. I also picked up the Tarte Skincare Pack Your Bags 911 Under Eye Rescue patches. I love me some Desi and Katie and I know that they always rave on about these whenever they're traveling together. So I was like, you know what? Let's just throw it in there and see if they actually do work. I haven't actually used any of these yet, which is just silly. But ooh, okay. There's four in the packet and apparently you can reuse them. I've got an itchy nose. Ah. Don't you hate when you have an itchy nose or you want to blow your nose but you don't want your makeup to come off? So yeah, like I was saying, it comes in these individually wrapped packets. Apparently these are reusable. I'm pretty sure Katie, aka Lustalux, did say that she like reuses hers and puts them in the fridge. Oh, there's like a serum kind of coating. I can see it. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to try these out. And last but not least, I have a few goodies to show you from LadyMoss.com. So LadyMoss.com is where I buy all of my Coco lashes. You guys know that I'm obsessed with Queen Bees. I did pick up a couple more pairs. There just so happens to be one left in the box. I'm pretty sure I got three pairs of this. I'm wearing one of them now. Don't know where the other ones went. And then this is the last pair that I got. So I've gone through so many of these, but I have noticed that I don't know if they're like individually handmade, but they always look different. Like I feel like there's different batches and some look longer and some look shorter. As you can see, like, ooh, these lashes just call my name. I love them so much because they're super full at the base and dark and then they kind of feather out to this like wispiness which is what I love. So yeah, I love Queen Bees. They're amazing. The only thing is that if you are a beginner with applying lashes, these are a little bit difficult to apply because they have a little bit of a hard band. Like the band is not an invisible band like a lot of Ardell lashes are. The band on these are very thick. So might take some getting used to, but I can't deny my love for Queen Bees. I love these. Next up, I have the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. If you guys saw, I did do a first impressions on this, so I will leave a link for that on the screen. This foundation actually just released here in Australia, so if you are interested in trying it out, you can find it at Priceline, and I think Target stocks it already. I'm not 100% sure, but the reason why I bought this online is because I got it months before it came over here to Australia. 
If you guys didn't know, you guys in the US and whatnot are very lucky because you get releases of makeup as soon as they are released. But over here in Australia, it takes like six or so months to actually get things. So I really wanted to try this foundation. So I was like, I'm just gonna order it online and kind of wish I didn't because this shade was a little bit too dark for me, but you will see in my first impressions that I did make it work. So yeah, I actually did get this one from Lady Moss. Next up, I have these babies right here. Are they not so beautiful? So we have the NYX Ultimate Palettes. This is the Warm Neutrals, and this one is the Brights. I actually used these to create this look today. I'm pretty sure I will have that video up very soon. So if you want to see how I did this look, then stay tuned. Now let's face it, I did not need another Warm Neutrals palette, but... Warm neutrals, they, they speak to me on another level. So I always, as soon as I see like an inexpensive, affordable warm neutrals palette, I'm, I'm on it, I'm on it. But I actually had the intention of only getting the brights one, but I was like, you know what? I wanna be able to create a whole look with this palette. So I had to get this. So yeah, I can pretty much do whatever look I want with these colors. I can't stop looking at them in the monitor because they just look so, beautiful and yeah i did use the yellow in this palette today i'm just gonna quickly do some swatches my camera just cut out so i've done the yellow and that pretty aqua kind of color then we have the turquoise the shadows aren't too bad my only issue is that they do have a fair bit of fallout nothing too crazy though just the usual they actually swatch really nicely like i think they look beautiful and as you can see the yellow popped on my lid my lid is popping with yellow. So yeah, these are pretty handy. Like they are super affordable and they're from NYX and they're pretty decent quality. So if you just want some palettes to kind of play around with, especially a palette like this that has pretty much every bright color that you would need to try something new, then check these ones out from NYX because they are amazing. I have another thing from NYX, but I need to get it open. This is one of their Vivid Brights eyeliners. These actually just released here in Australia as well. So I bought them online because I actually only bought this color because it was the only color that I really wanted. Plus I kind of wanted to see what they were like before I invested in more. But I have tested the other shades out in store. They're amazing. So I picked up the shade Halo, which is pretty much the bright yellow. I don't know why, but lately I've been really into yellows. I never wore yellow eyeshadow, but I'm really feeling the pop of yellow that's going on on my lids today. But yeah, I picked up this liner because I really want to do like a fun summer look for you guys using this. So let me know if you're interested in that. I'm just going to do a quick watch oh it's so opaque guys like it's insane how opaque it is and i'm pretty sure these are very similar to the nyx matte liquid liners which do in fact dry matte and you guys who watch me regularly would know how much i rave on about those liners so yeah last but not least i picked up more of the la girl pro conceal concealers i love these concealers these however obviously i don't use these as concealers i use them as color correctors. I'm pretty sure these are like two bucks each, something ridiculous like that, but I absolutely love their concealers. I always use their one in porcelain, love that stuff. So I decided to pick up a couple of their peachy toned correctors so I could kind of see if they work for me. Anyways, yeah, I picked up the peachy corrector and the orange corrector. So as you can see, I have already started using this peachy one, haven't started using the orange one yet because that is very intimidating it's very dark um but yes i will be trying that out alrighty guys that's the end of my haul that is everything that i bought finally i've hauled them so i can start using them i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're still here and you haven't subscribed you may as well subscribe by hitting that red button down below so you don't miss any more videos I post. Don't forget to leave me some love down in the comments. I love talking to you guys down there. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media accounts, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So all of those details will be in the description box. Anyway, with all that being said, I hope you are all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy. Oh!